I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect Slack to N8N in under five minutes, so let's get started. So you should already have a Slack workspace set up that you wanna use. So all you wanna do is just come over to api.slack.com and go over to your apps, and we're gonna create a new app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click create app. I'm gonna say from scratch, and we're just gonna call this the build room. And the build room is my community for anyone interested in AI and automation. It gives you all the access you need to all my resources I use to scale my AI agency to over $10,000 a month. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out. From here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the workspace that I wanna develop in. Go ahead and click create app. From there, you can ignore all this for now. And we just wanna come into OAuth and permissions down at the bottom here. Cool, so there's a couple things we wanna be doing today. We wanna to be basically listening for a new message from Slack, and we want to be able to respond with a message from N8N back to us. So if we just come into this one first, we can go ahead and we can come up to the top here and go to create new credential. We wanna use this OAuth method right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go create, connect my account. And basically this is gonna say, okay, do we have permission for N8N to talk to Slack? And I'm just gonna click allow. And you can see here, we just have a connection successful that only took a couple seconds. And as a pro tip, which I just found out about, you can come down here and we can just rename this with whatever you want. So if you have multiple connections or if you're working for clients, this is a really great way to make sure that you can keep your credentials kind of separate from each other. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And now we can come back in here and we just wanna go ahead and say, send message to a channel. And we can come in here and we can select the build room channel from the list and we can send a simple text message. We can say, hey, 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 go ahead and click execute step. And now you can see we basically have this message that got sent off. And if we come back in here, you can see this says, hey, 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 great. So this first part is working. We're able to actually send a message. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to set this up so we can send a message to the workflow. So we need to come back into our app down here and we basically need to add these bot token scopes. So if we come in here and we can say app mentions read, channels read, come in here, type chat, go to chat right. Come in here, type channels, and we want this bot to be able to join the channel. And the last thing we need to do is group three. And I'm going to leave it with these scopes for now. And so now what we want to do is we just want to scroll up to the top here and say install to your workspace. And we can go ahead and click allow. And this is basically going to install the bot into our Slack workspace. And you can see here, this has worked because now we have this bot user OAuth token right here. So now what we want to do is inside of Slack, we basically just want to say at and go down to the app here and we say the build room and we can type in hi. And basically what we're going to say is that uh, you know, this bot right now is actually not in the channel. So we just want to go ahead and we want to make sure that we invite them. So we go ahead and click add. And so now we've added the bot to the channel. So this is the other way that you can create a connection. If you come in here and you want to come up to create a credential and go to new, we can do this with the access token and we can just paste in the bot access token right here and go ahead and click save. So now that we've connected this, We can come back in here. We can select the account that we just created, Slack account two. So now you can see that if we want to send this message and we click execute step, we have another message that was sent directly to us. So basically what we need to do now is we need to connect the trigger to Slack using this webhook URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this URL. And if we come back in here, we can go into event subscriptions, go ahead and turn this on. And I'm just going to paste the requested URL in here. Cool. So back in NNN, I'm just going to go ahead and choose a channel and I'm going to choose the build room because we know that our app is in there. I'm just going to go ahead and click execute step. And now this is listening for a test event. So if I come back in here into Slack, I can just go ahead and click retry. And now you can see that our URL has been verified. So now all we need to do is come into subscribe to bot events and we want to add a bot user event and we're just going to add app mention. And so basically now we're calling on the bot anytime we actually mention it in the channel. So I'm just going to go ahead from here and I'm going to click save. And in order to get this working for us, we just want to change this trigger to bot app slash mention. So now if I just go ahead and click execute step, I can come into Slack and go at, at the build room and say, yo, 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 go ahead, send this off. And if I come back into NNN, you can see this just received our message, yo, 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 down here. So now we've connected everything up to Slack. Now we can connect this workflow to anything else we want. So I can come in here and connect this up. And I already have this little open AI model in here with this expression that says, tell me a joke about, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pipe in the text coming from Slack. So now if I go ahead and connect workflow and say at the build room, I can say dinosaurs. I'm gonna come in here. You can see this is listening for an event. This is sending this off to open AI and we can come in here. You can see the joke. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent. What a joke. And the last thing we can do is we can just connect this back up to our Slack message, come in here. And instead of this message text, hey, 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 we can come down here, say this is the output from our open AI module. Come in here, we can test this one more time. And we can say, uh, now I can say, tell me a joke about cats. 
<laughs> one cat, I guess. Tell me a joke about cat. This is going to go ahead and send this off. You can see it's working. You can see here this responded to us. Why was the cat sitting on the computer? Because it wanted to keep an eye on the mouse. What a great joke. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, hop into the build room if you want to learn more about AI and automation. I'll see you inside.